It's no secret that African women have long been pillars of their communities, making great strides in various professions as mothers, leaders and pioneers. And behind every inspiring woman, there's almost always a story of courage and resilience. Today, we bring you the story of one woman who rose from the villages of Zimbabwe to become a surgeon in the United States and then a top diplomat for Africa in America. Africa 54's Esther Gitui Ewart has more. Arikana Chihombori Kwao was born in Zimbabwe and immigrated to the United States soon after high school. Had an American scholarship, African American scholarship, to uh, come to Fisk University, where I had my first degree and my master's degree in organic chemistry. From there, I went across the street to Meharry Medical College, where I had my uh, medical degree. I did my first residency in general surgery at the University of New York uh, in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, three years of that followed by uh, another three years of residency in family medicine. And I've been practicing medicine in uh, Tennessee. What exactly did you do? Where did you work? After my uh, medical school, I went to State University of New York and I did trauma there. I did general surgery because um, trauma was uh, uh, big there during the 80s. That was uh, a turning point for me in my life. Uh, they used to call me African Queen because I was so polite. Uh, keep in mind there were 93 residents and only five women and they apparently had nicknamed us women in the program uh, members of the PMS team meaning premenstrual syndrome. So whenever the men had a woman in their team which was usually one they would complain about having a member of the PMS team. Did you feel bullied? Did you feel uh, you did not quite fit? I have always accepted the fact that I'm in, a, in another country. I'm here to uh, keep my eyes open and learn and be receptive. So I never quite looked at it as bullying, but rather I appreciated what it was and I found my way to go around it. Dr. Chihombori Kwao's life and schedule in New York was hectic. We used to cover six hospitals in the greater New York uh, City area. And you never knew from one month to the other which hospital you're going to be or what service you're going to be, general surgery versus uh, tumor surgery, oncology versus ENT, orthopedics. So you just check last day of the month where you're going to be and you never knew who you were going to be with that month. So let's go to the operating table and tell us what you did when you were there. What kind of patients came and how did you deal with that? Well, in the 80s, uh, trauma was big in New York City. And so we saw a lot of trauma cases. It wasn't a matter of whether or not uh, there was a gash at wound. It was how many? How many stabbings? How many jumpers? Uh, so it was a lot of trauma. It wasn't long before the young surgeon reinvented herself as a family physician. And I decided to check into a local uh, family practice program. And that's when I discovered myself. I was really in my element. I am a people person. I enjoyed the uh, time and uh, the encounters I had with my different patients. And I decided to go on. The doctor turned diplomat explains the difference between the two medical fields. General surgery, if you come in and you have uh, uh, right upper quadrant, right upper quadrant abdominal pain, most likely it's your gallbladder. If I do find out that it's your gallbladder, I go in, I take it out, goodbye, see you later. Family medicine, on the other hand, it's not just about you. It's about everything about you, your environment, your, your family members, your children, your workplace. It's all about you. Being a doctor is the only profession that a total stranger walks into your exam room and you walk in and you say take off your clothes I'll be right back and when you come back the patient is naked that's how people are ready to really open up to you Dr. Chihombori waved goodbye to the medical field last December to accept a position as the African Union ambassador to the United States for me coming to Washington DC my biggest uh, fear was joining the uh, team of uh, African ambassadors, the majority of whom are men. Uh, but to my surprise, extremely well received and uh, the ambassadors have been very gracious and welcoming. So 
I'm very grateful for that. So how do you relate on a day-to-day -day basis with the African ambassadors here in the United States? Well, I am still in the process of doing my uh, courtesy visits to all of them. We meet once a month, uh, the African Ambassadors Group, and we discuss um, issues to do with us. And so we are hoping that uh, in due course we continue uh, to, to meet and discuss issues that are pivotal to, to the continent. Dr. Arikana Chihombori Kwao, an African woman achieving excellence, proving that there is no dream too hard to attain. Estegidu Yuot, VOA News, Washington.